how was the like that match on the weekend, obviously, a pretty tough loss to take. Uh, well, yeah, it is. Um, never really like losing. Um, but when games are that close, either side can win, and it's only really, really little things um, that can be a difference in the game. So, bounce of the ball. But um, I just got a big belief that if we do the basics well and do them well enough for long enough, that you know, we'll, we'll end up winning those type of games. Do you take a lot of confidence out of the fact that Really now, know you can match it with Collingwood at the MCG if that comes into uh, Yeah, but I think the the best thing to take out of it is that we're playing some pretty good footy for um, good periods of time. So to play against the top sides, you have to be able to do that, and I think we're doing that. So that's a pleasing thing. Chairman, the um, the back line, some of the young guys that have come in, like Jack Brennan, etc. The what have you made of them this season? Their development. Yeah, it's it's been fantastic. Um, Bruno's been playing a very good role, f role for us and he's been in some good waffle form and uh, Mitch Brown's come in and done pretty well. Um, <clears throat> Adam Selwood, Pat McGinnity have been going through there as well. But I think, that, I think that's the best thing about our side at the moment is uh, we have a, 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 a game plan that everyone understands and how we want to play. So when blokes come in, they can fulfil their role and by blokes having good waffle form, uh, they can come in, play well because if you get to a game late in the year or a finals game, you need to make sure you're playing, playing well, understand what we're trying to do, and you can come in and you can hold your spot. Do you know how Adam's going? What do you expect him uh, I actually don't, but I think he'd have to be close to being available this week. Yeah, yeah. Are Collingwood the best side to play this year? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, I think we've played Hawthorne and Carlton as well. Hawthorne is a tough game here in the wet, um, but... Yeah, it's just they they've got a very even spread of players, so their mids, forwards and backs play pretty well. How did you see Bo's impact on the game yesterday, Uh yeah, good. Um Bo's been having a very good year for us and he we're happy with the way he's been going. Um, you know, he stands under the ball, reads the ball well, uh, runs runs really reasonably well and uh uses the ball. So we're happy with the way Bo's going and same as a backline, I think as a backline group we're going pretty well. Do you mind the way, as you said, stands under the ball and backs back into it? There's always guys. Yeah, that yeah, he does that very well, Bo, and I think that's one of the strengths that he brings to the to the game. Um, and he plays his role well and plays to his strengths really well. I, I like to be able to take the game on and uh, try to play football in a positive way. So whether sides want to tag or go one on one, you know, um, that's up to their game structure and their game plan, but. I like playing one-on-one, -on -one and as a defender, it doesn't matter too much if, you, um, if a bloke wants to follow you around or if you're trying to play on him. So I just enjoy playing one-on-one -on -one football. Uh, most sides try to get a drop-off as well. I think in our team, in, in our back line, we've got probably four or five blokes that can play that role, um, which which is making us a good team but a good back line. And that's what you'd expect in, in finals, right? One-on-one is, is kind of, you know, usually yeah. how it's played, so you... Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Um, and footy's been that since it's always been played. You know, I think the good sides um, have their structures and have their game plan. But at the end of the day, you're always going to be playing on, a, on an opponent at some stage, and that's what you have to be, you have to be able to win that contest or at least not get beaten. Some days you will, but I think that's the attitude you have to have of making it as hard as possible for the opposition. But you said have a positive mindset about beating him. So if you're playing forward, midfield, or back, um, you've got to be proactive. Opposition side, Shannon had to look to, to close down your kicking at times. Have you found though that the former Bo and Will Schofield and these guys who are attacking on hard back, yeah. is that helping you? Oh, yeah, it certainly does, and I think it helps the side um, by not just having one player uh, that can bring the ball out, out of back 50. Will Schofield's provided a great run, Bo Waters reads the ball well, and um, you know, even Glass, Eric McKenzie, they've been playing great roles for us. So. Uh, to me, I play different styles of footy and have different blokes that can play different styles of footy it certainly helps. Well, what have you made with the Gold Coast? I suppose there's been a bit of debate around them and yeah. there's supposed to be with GWI's coming in and sort of showing them up a bit. Yeah. What, what have you made, made of them? Uh, oh, well, I think they've, uh, they've still got some good players in their side and like any side that's a bit young, it's just a little bit up and down. Um, we were like that three years ago, four years ago, you, you probably um, you have a few good quarters, a few good games, then you're a bit down. So from what I've seen, they're working towards becoming a better side and being able to play more consistent football. Um, and I think that's what the better sides do and the best sides do. They can play really good footy consistently at a high standard. 
Um, so Gold Coast is certainly working towards that, and we, we'd hope that you know if we played well enough for long enough that um, hopefully that they wouldn't be able to match it. What's the difference between preparing for the top team one week and the bottom team the next week? Uh, yeah, nothing, mate. It's you, you want to see what uh, the opposition play, how they're going to play, how we think we can um, play well against against opposition. And I think um, that's been the great thing the past two years is um, we understand how the opposition wants to play, but we've been playing some very good footy. So as long as our roles and structures are right, um, I think our game plan holds up against most sides. People were saying, given the quality of the game against yourselves and Collingwood on the weekend, that it could easily be a grand final matchup. Uh, are you looking at things thinking you're still not a sure thing for the top four yet? Uh, well, it, well, it is very close. I think top six or maybe seven is one, one game, maybe. And yeah, well, it's, it's never really a sure thing until you're there. So we need to make sure we're playing good football, make sure we win. I think we're playing the top four or five sides again this year. So it'll probably you know, be important to win those type of games, but it's no more important than winning this week as compared to winning in five weeks' time.